Hi everyone, my name is Anagaha and I'm part of the data science discovery team and in this video today we're going to be doing a question on um, random simulations in Python. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we have each year for Halloween you want to make sure you have enough candy for the 50 trick-or-treaters that you expect to visit. Um, to prepare, you want to create a simulation to know, understand how many of each type of candy might be chosen by you know the kids who come, right? So write Python code that creates this data frame which contains this like simulation, right, of drawing candy like randomly right from this bowl that contains equal numbers of the following candies um, Sour Patch, Kids, Snickers, Hershey's, Skittles, and M&M's and here we can see all the candy choices are listed out here. Make sure your data frame has a column called treat that contains the name of the treat that was chosen by these 50 kids right. So here what we want to do <coughs> is actually there's like you know three things that we can kind of um, include in this program right and this is very similar to the other simulations that we've done uh, the number one thing is that we want to create some sort of cumulative data structure to store um, this to, to really store this uh, results that we're going to have right so my data structure to store <coughs> my results might be a list right which I'm going to to use to store all of these um, 50 random pieces of candy that were chosen, right? So um, that's the first step. The second step is actually perform um, the simulation, <coughs> simulation 50 times, and this might include a for loop, right? Where each iteration of that loop represents one simulation, which is basically one of these trick-or-treaters picking a random candy from the bowl, right? So I want to perform this simulation 50 times, and I'm including a for loop where my range is going to be 50, and and um, basically, right, each ish, each simulation will be, you know, picking that one random candy. And then my third step is going to be to create my data frame using... Um, you know, this, this data structure that we created here, <coughs> this was a specific list, right? Using my list, um, creating that data frame that, you know, basically combines all of those results from all of those 50 simulations. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing to go ahead and create that data list, we want to um, define the list in Python, right? So this is how we define <coughs> an empty list in Python. Data equals um, open and close brackets. And now in our for loop, for i in range, um, and I know since we want to perform, uh, make sure you have enough candy for 50 trick-or-treaters, it's, it's basically saying we have 50 kids coming, right? They're going to each pick um, one piece of candy. So there's total of 50 pieces of candy that will be randomly chosen. So that means really that our simulation needs to be performed 50 times. So our simulation inside, um, you know, this, this parentheses, we really want our for loop to iterate over 50 times because there's 50 different simulations that we need to perform in this program. So I wanna do for i in range 50, <coughs> and the first thing we wanna do is we wanna basically simulate picking a random piece of candy from the bowl, right? And they kinda of made it easier here by giving you already a list of candy choices to choose from. So when we wanna go ahead and declare, let's say, um, some sort of treat, like a random treat to um, randomly pick, right? I want to use random.choice because this allows, this is a function in Python that allows me to randomly pick an element from a given list, um, which, which includes, you know, multiple things like multiple strings, right? So from my candy choices list, it's basically treat is going to be some random candy that I pick from this um, list of candies, right? So I want to do treat equals random.choice candy choices because I'm basically picking a random candy from this list, basically from the candies in their in their bowl, right? So treat is going to be that result of that. 
it's just going to be one of those random strings here right and now what i want to do i have my random candy that i picked right i want to store that somewhere <laughs> so what i'm going to do is actually create a dictionary so you can call it dict uh sorry dictionary you can call it d you can call it any variable name you want right i'll just call it d for simplicity and to define an empty dictionary in python we just want to use the syntax here the opening and closing uh, curly braces and basically the dictionary is going to have um the sort of key value pairs right where the key is going to be our column name in our data frame and that value is going to be basically that value for that specific column name right and and that's kind of in regards to this data frame that we're going to create later on so the first thing in my dictionary i basically want to store all of these random candies that i picked right so my key here is going to be treat um, because they the column name uh, in our data frame should actually be called treat so I want to make sure my dictionary the, the first basically um, key in my dictionary that first element before that colon aligns with that column name so that should be the same and then what is that going to store well it's going to store the random candy that I picked right and where is that um, stored here, well, it's in the variable treat, right? That was a result of this random dot choice candy choices. It's basically that random candy that I, you know, got from that bowl. So really, uh, I'm going to put treat here. And if I renamed this <coughs> to something like random candy, well, here, instead of treat, it would be random candy, right? Because that's, you're basically creating a dictionary where the first value where the first key is the treat which is that column name and that second uh, element is basically what random candy you picked which can be called any variable that you declare here it's like the result of this random dot choice so now what i want to do is i want to go ahead and append this dictionary somewhere right i have this dictionary which stores my random candy that i just picked well i need to append that somewhere right i need to store that result somewhere well that's going to be stored in this in this cumulative data structure that i define in the very beginning of my code that's basically going to store all the results for all of my 50 simulations right so i want to go ahead and i'm going to append uh, which means add, right, add my result, which is stored in this dictionary, to my data list, which um, was defined in the very beginning, which is basically going to store the results of all of my 50 simulations. So I'm going to do data.appendd, right, because I'm appending my dictionary, which stores the random candy that I picked for this simulation, into our data list, which is the cumulative data structure which will contain all of the 50 random candies that I picked, right? So now when I append that, uh, the last thing to do is, is basically create a data frame using this list. So I'm going to use a pd.dataframe method. It's going to be df equals pd.dataframe. Uh, and what do I want to create a data frame out of? Well, it's going to be that data list right because that data list will contain all of the uh, 50 simulation results now I just want to go ahead and create a data frame out of that data list and remember that this simulation basically goes through this 50 times so in each iteration in each run of our for loop we're basically picking this random candy we're creating a dictionary where our key is treat and we store the random or candy result that we got from that random dot choice method and finally we append that dictionary or we add that dictionary to the data list which will contain the results of all of our 50 simulations and then finally we want to go ahead and convert that data list into a data frame so here we can see that uh, in that data frame there's this treat and then there's like a bunch of candies and we want 50 of them so there should be 50 rows right there's 49 0 through 49 that's 50 rows um, and the column should be called treat which is why in our list we called the um, the column name the key name treat right so now when I go ahead and submit my code that's all correct so if you have any questions let me know I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you next time bye